Good morning Terry, Andy from PVs. Uh, oh, what a fabulous day and to my right is this beautiful XC60. Finished in white, it is in brilliant condition as you can hopefully see from the video. Uh, the really lovely split spoke alloy wheels there. Um, the tyres are really good all round, most of them are near new. Um, and a, a quick overview around the car now. Uh, to the back of it, you see there's no scuffs or scrapes or chips or anything like that on the vehicle. The exhausts are in great condition, really clean. Always like to see that on a car. It's important that an exhaust pipe on the car is clean. Um, and down the side here, again, no sign of any chips or abrasions or minor car parking dents, anything at all. Um, the car is going to have a new set of rear um, pads in the back, but the discs are fairly new and um, so they're in really good condition. Um, I have to say, um, if all used cars came into us in this condition, I would be a very happy bunny. Have a look on the inside. I know you've already had my images for the car, but uh, a, a live video presentation is always a good thing. Um, carpet mats in here in perfect condition and the mats underneath are like absolutely brand new. The leather is beautiful, um, very nicely stitched. Don't forget you've got the adjuster at the front there for support. You've got the height adjuster, the electric switch there that brings it up and forward. And then you've got the lumbar pad here for adjusting support in the small of the back. Everywhere you look on this car, the dash trims, the steering wheel, um, the door cards, everything is in beautiful condition. Um, I'll get my colleague Jonathan, who's doing the filming, to sit in the car now, and I'll just point out a few things from this side. Right, back in again. As you can see, there's the fantastic Volvo sensor system in here. Um, which gives you full screen touchscreen satellite navigation with entry simply as a set destination. So you pop in there, put in your coordinates under address. Postcode is usually the easiest one. Pop your postcode in and press uh, start and off you go. Um, the home button is at the bottom here. So that always takes you back to uh, where you were or a second press to the, to the home screen. Uh, so your phone, radio, uh, any car status messages, if there's anything needs any attention there, it'll flag up. Uh, the heating and ventilation is fantastic. Always is good on Volvos. I'll just turn the ignition on a little bit. Uh, we'll start the car up. Uh, and then you can see ventilation can be sent to all three parts of the vehicle or just one or the other. The fan is all touchscreen as well. Um, you've even got heated seats and a heated steering wheel in this car so it's a fantastic specification it is an R design after all so it does come with a really nice standard spec uh, and it's very very easy to operate I particularly like this uh, this layout here don't forget because it's got the climate pack you've got the electric heated windscreen just up here uh, the dashboard on top contains uh, at the top of the screen rather contains all these sensory equipment for the cameras, looking forwards, collision mitigation, adaptive cruise control, that sort of thing. Um, down here, obviously fully automatic with the manual option to the left. You've got the uh, plus and minus option so you can change up and go down the gears yourself. Steering wheel again is uh, perforated just around the uh, hand grip area there. Uh, that's a feature of the R design. Uh, paddle shifters as well for going down and up a gear on the right hand side of the uh, steering column on the left there. Uh, really nice detailing, the aluminium detailing sweeps up all over the dashboard right around the air vents and it is aluminium, it's not, um, not pretend plastic or anything like that so that's a really nice feature but again above all of it the most important thing um, is that the condition of the car is absolutely beautiful it, as I say it's as nice a car as I would ever wish to meet um, driver mode here you press the little jog dial here and then on the dashboard you get eco comfort dynamic and off-road mode as well um, there's a 
really nice padded armrest in the middle here um, which has storage underneath it as well and um, so you can put bits and pieces in here there's also a USB charging point also in the front of the thing there to charge your phone uh, and a 12 volt power point in here together with the locking wheel no, don't lose that you'll need that um, in here we've got some plastic trim I think uh, by way of locking wheel nut covers just spare and a wheel puller so they will stay with the vehicle probably put those in the boot later uh, and then you can cover it all up um, nice and neat um, very well finished off indeed we'll have a look in the back seat area and in the boot now so from this side uh, you can see I'll just undo the seat belt. Uh, when you fold the seat down, the head restraint automatically drops there. Uh, and in the flat position, um, you can see from around the boot area, which is a fully electric boot, it goes up automatically. Um, if I move this box of bits that are about to go in the car, uh, you can see from there, it's almost perfectly flat. Really good load area through. Um, under here you have a little bit of storage area and underneath there there's a battery uh, and an area for storing the compressor uh, for the tyre inflation kit let's put that back in there first aid kit uh, to the side of the car another power point in there and the tunnel cover it's in really great condition no rips, no tears no bits missing out of it so again in really good order and it also pops up to the top just to give you a bit more storage if you need it uh, and again press this button here and the hatchback closes remotely um, but Terry um, as I said to you over the phone um, and by email uh, it's, it looked a really nice car and um, now I've seen it I think it's an outstanding car it suit me very very well uh, my colleague Alan is expecting you at two o'clock on Saturday. Sorry I won't be there, but uh, bring your driving license. You'll get it all sorted out on insurance. Take it for a test drive, and I'll speak to you on Tuesday. So thanks for your time, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye, Tony.